again split the map. This is the this is the reason why they picked up the Paquito anyways. This Diablo is just taking advantage of that. And now the punish. Can they escape this? Look at the way the dragon. Oh, Patty. Taking a lot of damage there coming out from Vanix. JBL as well trying to go for the pickoffs. Might get punished here. There's the Nether Realm. And there's the punish. Flicker out there for Vanix. And Super Paddy gonna get taken down here as well. The Lord's marching down bottom side as Team Flash. They're looking to take something in here. Gonna go for some of those trades as Tides and Juan in the middle of that full barrage as they're backing away because they still have that Lord to defend. Hades. Not going to be able to get anything, but look at the top side. Diablo just doing his job there, taking away turrets after turrets up against Keep Best Gaming. A very interesting approach from Team Flash. This uh, split that they're doing also allows them to dodge this Lapu-Lapu. Uh, we know that the Lapu-Lapu is uh, the weakness of this Iksha. And you saw that in that, uh, that Flash, even after Keep Best Gaming already had a better but timing as well as the positioning, they aren't able to get into Vanix just because of one flicker. Imagine if CU was actually in that scenario that is able to just jump into the back lines. It, things will be completely different. But because of what Diablo is doing up top, it kind of prompted Keep Best Gaming to park one of their heroes to answer Diablo. So that is the reason why CU was up their top lane and not in the bottom lane where majority of the team fight is. And you can see that it looks very trivial, it looks very basic, but little things like that matter so much. And now, the Team Flash felt very confident team fighting in the bottom lane just because of the fact that Seed is not there. Ah. Uh, speaking of team fights, though, uh, JPL has been uh, doing his best. Like getting in that single target pick off the way of the dragon, but right now K KBG is even uh, struggling to find an opening here in their uh, jungle camps or the jungler uh, jungle uh, itself. Uh, but looking at this, it's 12 minutes in, 38k for Team Flash. What does Keep Best Gaming need to do, Wolf? Uh, what do they need to do? Do they need to go for those all-out team fights, or do they just uh, kind of take a backseat right now? I think um, you would. The, the, simply put, I would love to see them team fight, right? But that's not easy. That, in, in fact, it's uh, it's, it's mainly just keep best, but just team flash forcing them to not be able to team fight. But then their composition is built around that. They have to take advantage of this Frederick Faramis as well as the Ruby. And the fact of the matter is, they had a very good early game with, you know, taking two Eternals away from Team Flash, but they just couldn't group up. So they have to force Team Flash into team fighting with them, which kind of means that now it's uh, mm -hmm. it's really a difficult uh, scenario now for CU because he's always thinking about should I team fight or should I just uh, answer the split push? It's always a difficult yeah. choice for him. Yeah, the Paquito, that seems to be uh, the story of the day here, even on stream A, that has been doing the split push. And now it's going to be uh, Team Flash going to try to uh, put their focus here, put their resources here on this Lord. It's not going to be easy, Wolf. Looking at this, uh, the Diablo has been pressuring in that top lane. Like one member is actually forced to go to that lane to answer out to, to the minion waves crashing in. And that's just going to cause Team Flash to get in this Lord without any contest at all from the side of Keep Best Gaming. They are attempting yep. though, but it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a takedown here for Team Flash. Easy Lord take for them, and that's gonna be the Enhanced Lord going to the side of Team Flash. Yeah. Good positioning from Team Flash. Good usage of Cartesi's ultimate as well. Allowed them to easily take this uh, Lord. Not even committing some of their battle spells. So if there will be an, a team fight, which might happen in a few seconds from now, or maybe under a minute, you can see that both Vanix as well as JPL kept their flicker. So very mm -hmm. important battle spell to have in this push. It means that you can be a little bit aggressive and just flicker out. Or maybe you can go extremely aggressive and use the JPL's Way of the Dragon flicker to isolate Super Paddy. Which, by the way, Super Paddy didn't have the Purify. So. Purify, yeah. Oh man, and it's gonna be really hard, right? Once you get caught in the Way of the Dragon. And right now, Team Flash is just taking things very in, in a very safe manner getting in all these turrets they also have the lord to boot here as a uh, team flash is creating in pressure top and bottom side they already got the bottom inhibitor and jbl just making his presence known here to keep best gaming saying that oh i still have that flicker i still have that way of the dragon and you know it super paddy is not safe right like look at what jbl is doing he's, he's trying to bait out that that flicker uh, the, the only mobility that super paddy has as of the moment 
look at them go onto the, the side of, of the, the top lane with the flicker that they have they can just you know be, become very oppressive in their positioning and team flash here just utilizing the the fact that they have the flicker to make sure that keep this game will not have the best um, positioning mm -hmm. there jpl it there it goes it's gonna be super patty but at the same time you got the nether realm you got the full barrage from the back side and there's gonna be hades going in for the decimate taking down juan going in for another but it's under the turret here of keep best gaming they take one down for the price of two. Is this worth it? Not absolutely not for Team Flash and you know, Keep this Gaming. I'm very happy with that. Finally, see you with the flicker, uh, making it awkward for the backlines for Team Flash. That's the reason why Hades actually died in that in that specific skirmish, because uh, he didn't have any supplements to go with him. I can see it through the replay. Ready for JPL, and after the jump after the Wave of Dragon, it's gonna be Hades isolated from the rest of his team, and he is immediately taken out under the base. Even after one kill, it's not enough. And the uh, Vanek survives, however. If I'm not mistaken, that's a uh, window nature that uh, Aixia has, anyways. Mm. So Vanek is relatively safe right now. Mm. now. Looking at the lead here, almost everyone at the 10k lead here for Flash. Look at the full barrage. But Yannick's gonna get tugged in. That's not gonna be uh, that's gonna be it for uh, K KBG. JPL gonna go for the way of the dragon here, but no follow up just yet. It's gonna get tugged in here by LMU. Hades for the backup here, but Curtizi with the snipes from the back. As Shuan gonna get worked on here by Hades. He's gonna take a lot of the damage though. There's CU2 from the back side, and these were the, the clashes that we were talking about, Wolf, that they needed to do. Once they get grouped up, it's gonna be hard for Flash to actually answer out to keep us gaming. Oh my. And this is looking really, looking really dicey for a set of Team Flash. Even when they're leading a, a lot, and they have an inhibitor turn it up, they should not be going in for those mis uh, for those plays or those decisions. Especially when you don't, when you know that you'll spend your flicker anyways on Vanix. Well, the Lord will be up. And this time, when it comes to battle spells, you have Tides with the flicker, very important. You have the Purify on LMU. But well, on the mm -hmm. other side, Team Flash will not have Vanix's flicker for a long time. So that's um, um, over a minute. Right? Even when Super Paddy doesn't Super Paddy doesn't have it, the fact that CU can just mm -hmm. get, get into the back lines with the help that spam is so that they can dive. It's gonna be scary. So I uh, really not the best uh, scenario for Team Flash, but look at the split coming mm -hmm. from Diablo. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, I mean the, the top side split push here, um forcing uh, Super Paddy to actually answer out to that. It's not going to be easy, though, to go up against uh, the Pakino here that can burst you down. So that, uh, that is one member out for Keep Us Gaming. They definitely need the damage here from Super Paddy, right? And with Super Paddy answering out to Diablo, Team Flash is just so confident to take to take in this Lord, knowing that they don't really have their damage dealer at the back. Lord is at 1 for HP. I'm not so sure if K KBG can actually contest for this one. There are tips, though, as a Flash aggressively taking this one. Hades gonna be working on that. Vanix, he is here as well for the backup. And uh, keep us gaming. I, I like the attempts here. There's that Astral Echo. There's the full barrage. And the Lord is at one for HP. Just shredding everyone from the back lines apart. A double kill for Hades. And everyone down from the side of Keep Best Gaming as Team Flash gonna be taking in this Lord. Second Lord of the game. Unfortunately, they didn't have damage. Like Surely they have the Fairmaid so that supplements a lot of damage in team fight, but they didn't have an actual source of damage. Super Paddy was designated to go up top to defend against mm -hmm. Diablo, and it's still the same oh, problem, no. and he can't do anything right now. Even with the flicker, immortality is out. They can end this. Yeah, they can For actually sure. end this, right? Look at the aggression coming out. The burst as well. Hades going for the decimate and locking in the base, and that's going to be it. Team Flash taking in game number one. In this particular game, I can see one over glaring problem from Keep Best Gaming, and that's just the. Kurt Easy picking up the kill. Still Keep Best Gaming taking the turtle for the prize of two. Oh. Two for one. And that means that the economy is going to go up. Every time I hate this goes for those jumps, you're always, the, always scared. Diablo doing Diablo things, just uh, clearing out the top lane. I'm going to go for the invade, but Kurt Easy is punished. Had to pop the flicker. One gonna be able to secure the purple buff, so that's uh, some of the good news that we have for Team Best Gaming. They're securing some of their farm, but not all. 
Yeah, uh, looking at uh, what we're seeing right now on the screen is that uh, for, for Team Flash, they got in uh, two of these uh, turrets, and, and it's good, right? Like, all around the, the early game that uh, they wanted to happen is panning out really well for them. But as for Keep Best Gaming, you did mention that it's going to be the claw that they're going to be heavily investing in, but it seems like uh, Super Patty is standing at the zero, zero, two, zero as of the moment. Maybe an ultimate. Just for safety. But you cannot be... You gotta be baited in keep escaping, but after the dragon form, yeah, you have the the opening, and it's and it's interesting that keep best gaming are just playing passively; they're playing reactively. In a way, it's it's understandable because they have the Vary as well as the Cloud, but there has to be a switch here for keep best gaming. There has to be a, a, a time where they decide, okay, it's time to fight. And it, for for now, it's a like t team flash, right? Like they're taking control of, of the map. Like you see, like some split pushes being made here by Hades, uh, which we've seen in a fanny, um, creating in the space. Uh, KBG, they're not willing to go in for those all-out team fights yet. Uh, usually, it is gonna be up to tides to create that uh, tug, that divine judgment onto. Um, I guess usually the target is going to be Hades here. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's probably the reason why they, they pick up this Kaja to to counter out to to counter out the Fanny. But, but right now we're looking at Team Flash uh, tr trying their best to clear out the lanes, eyeing this objective which is the Lord. But over here Ooh. on the bottom side, see you taking a lot of the damage, forced to use that vengeance out as Hades going to be resetting all the way back to the base as uh, KBG actually going to be. Starting off this Lord, I see you going to divert the attention right now of the Diablo on the, the bottom side. They have the fan to finish that off, and that's a mega kill mm -hmm. for AD. Still plenty of uh, energy to work with, and unfortunately, Zingxuan is actually chunked low. No. Lilia, the courtesy, oh my goodness. Yeah, man, the full barrage, and then... Uh, the zoning away from Curtizi over the backside just enabled Team Flash to pick up that Lord nine minutes in. And this is exactly how a Team Flash is planning it. They, they want to get this early game, try to finish it fast, and maybe take in this game as uh, it's looking really scary right now as, as Hades is popping in. He can just take down a Super Patty in one fell swoop, right? And even right now, like, uh, keep us gaming without the lore, there's already enough pressure here being being done by both JPL and Curtisi. A lot of these good wave gears, plus they got Diablo here to reach the back line. So, this is just the first Lord. I think they can pressure out at least the second tier turrets here. Yeah. And how about that? Keep best gaming. Just one, like, you, you mentioned it yourself, one fell swoop. The fact that they took out CU just like that, and then the the, the pokes coming out from Curtisi. Uh, maybe the the Frederick yeah. did not realize that there's a lot of damage that uh, Lilia can eventually pick. I mean, like one hit of the scale of uh, skill one mm -hmm. and skill two, surely it won't hurt a lot, but oh. a lot will be. You know, Ooh. Yeah, there is that talk from the Divine Judgment that they were waiting for, but here's the I am offended too. See who's gonna get knocked down. Full barrage with the backside. Double kill picked up there by Vanix. Make that a triple as three are gonna fall in the hands of Team Flash. They still have this Lord to boot to take and this one. But it's not enough minions, but that's a lot of pressure. Inhibitors are down and Team Flash, it just like that, took down three for the price of none. Go for more tides taken out by Kurt. The pokes. Well, it was a sacrificial play, anyways, from Keep Best Gaming. And they can't afford to do that because um, it's still just 11 minutes. Not uh, lose mm -hmm. um, some of their. Uh, because of the re respawn. As, mm -hmm. as is this happening, there's a clash in the middle and there's already a kill on to CU coming out from Team Flash. It might even go for more. Diablo just pops the ultimate. Just like that. <laughs> Not a care in the world. Yeah, that's totally oh, fine. You can actually bait. evade that. Yep. Woo. A bait from Diablo to take Super Fatty down. And flashes in those stickers. And it's just uh, all around play coming out from Team Flash. You can see how well coordinated that was, right? Like Super Patty was trying to take down uh, Diablo, but you know, they totally forgot that. Okay, yeah, there is Hades to still take him down. Keep us gaming got that shut down. Uh see you got that nice uh, divine judgment onto him. There was some uh uh, goal that that went back to the side of uh, Keep Best Gaming, but it is still uh, an, 
an, at least an 8k here for the side of Team Flash. Yeah. So LMU now s slowly stacking up the damage. The Divine Glaive is actually a very important item to have at 12 minutes. Not the fastest, but it will make an impact, right? So you can see the Astral Sphere is going to be hitting hitting a lot. And, that, and eventually Super Paddy, if he keeps the Purify and he outputs the damage, he surely, oh my goodness, I jinxed him. I definitely jinxed him. Oh man, uh, I think at, at oh this time, Wolf, like there, every single time you say something, even in the draft, it most likely does happen. But oh, as no. for for Flash, right? They got the speed. They got the space to do this. They got the the, yeah. They got the space to get in this Lord and even invading the the jungle camp here of uh, Keep Best Gaming, fifteen two, and it's still Team Flash uh, leading the charge here. Uh, I see the attempts of CU trying to create the space though over on the top side, but uh, this is the enhanced Lord for the side of Team Flash here right now. It's a 10k lead for Flash right now up against Keep Best Gaming. Oh, no. Not a good sign. Eight is just recalling in front of CU. Not a care in the world because Diablo is just making it work now. Mm -hmm. With JPL being in there, there's dominant size now available. CU under the turret, mm -hmm. he take this take it out. Overstaying his welcome up top lane. The vengeance too. Uh, I think this is uh, another Diablo Hades uh, that we've seen there over on the top side. They still got this Lord. Uh, they're doing their very best to clear out the lanes, but uh, the Team Flash, Super Patty, using in that uh, Blazing Duet to clear out the waves, but uh, Team Flash is already here at the base of uh, Keep Best Gaming. They're going to try to go for that final push. They have JPL for that I am offended, but oh boy. Look at Hades from the backside. Curtis is down though. There's a shutdown. But they're able to melt down this Lord. Only one inhibitor left here for the side of Keep Best Gaming. Diablo goes in for that Black Dragon form. Trying to zone in the back lines. They're able to take down the last inhibitor. And that's going to be it. The base is wide open here for Keep Best Gaming. Team Flash with Hades once again. Baiting out the Blazing Duet from Super Paddy. Gets out. That's the power of the, of the Fanny. You can just... Uh, just stay in the lane, just lifesteal your way out, and you have a one-shot potential onto Super Paddy, who does have the Wind of Nature for now, but evidently it didn't help him because of, you know, the members of Keep Best Gaming just uh, overstaying in some parts of the map, and Team Flash can read through them. Yeah, the Immortalities are being purchased too uh, at this point, right? Like, you want to buy in that extra time uh, to, to keep you alive. There goes JPL. There's that 9 Divine Judgment, but it might actually just be the bait! He gets the Iron Offended back as Fanex! Gonna be able to pick up a double! And Hades to seal the deal there and taking that Super Paddy, going all the way to the base to pick up that double! It's only CU left to defend! And it's gonna get zoned out there by Diablo! This should be the end here! Team Flash, they're clearing out the waves here! Hades using in those stickers! This is it! Team Flash taking in game number two, and we end the series with a clean sweep. And with that funny play coming out from Hades, dismantling Keep Best.